Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm just uh, cruising along here in my Model Y. I want to talk to you about a uh, something I learned about. I was in a collision about four years ago. I was driving my RV. I had a motorhome, a Class C motorhome, and I was drive. We drove it. This was during COVID, and we'd drive it. Uh, like on occasion during COVID to like different different activities. Like I was taking my son to his hockey practice so me and my other kids could hang out in it while we were uh, while he was at his hockey practice. We're driving home from it. We're on the city streets. A car pulls out from a stop sign and I have the right of way and they pull out right in front of me and I just ran right into him in a, in a, in a motorhome. And the front bumper of the motorhome got kind of crushed into the tire and there was a little damage on the grill and kind of the front fender was damaged a little bit on that. Um, and I had owned that RV for about a year, and I bought it right before COVID, and COVID kind of drove the prices of those up, and here I was with an RV that was kind of damaged. It wasn't totaled by any means. It just needed some, like, some body work, fender, grill, uh, new fender. So there was just uh, some body work that needed to be done. Now, this happens when you're in an accident. So when you're in an accident, this is a tip I didn't really know about, and I did some research and found out about it, and it turned out to be... Uh, it turned out to kind of help make the situation better. So there's a thing called a diminished value of your vehicle. When your vehicle's involved in, a, in an accident and it's not totaled, it's worth less money than it is undamaged, right? So a, a damaged car is just worth less. There's, there's a blemish on the car fax, so the car history has this blemish. When you go to resell it or you go to trade it in, that's going to be a stigma attached to it and you could get less money for it. And insurance companies will compensate you for that diminished value. So there's a value attached to that number. Now, when I was negotiating with this insurance company, I didn't have an attorney. It was only, you know, like I didn't, there was no injuries, so there was no bodily injury. We didn't have an attorney involved. I was just talking with the insurance company on my own. And I told them, I, like, I want to file a diminished value claim. And, and so they came up with a number. And they came back with a number of like $4,500. Like, okay, your, your, your RV, your motorhome's been in an accident, so it's worth $4,500 left. Our offer is $4,500. I'm like, okay. I started doing some research, and then I found a company, and there's many of these online. I went with a company called dvcheck.com. There's a guy named Jim that runs that one. This isn't sponsored or affiliated with them, but the, the guy just did a really good job for me. So what he does, he does research. He went in and went and looked at the Carfax. He went and looked at comparable vehicles. He, you know, found other vehicles for sale that had accidents, and he, he created this whole report. He put some work into this, and he created a proposal that I could just give the insurance company and say, "All right, I hired my own appraiser. My diminished value claim uh, is this amount." And for example, this guy Jim came up with a number of eighty-five hundred dollars is what my diminished value would be. I think I paid about $350 or so for this this diminished value service. And so the insurance company originally wanted to give me like $4,500. Jim's was over, over double that, $8,500. And after submitting this report, the insurance companies ended up going to mediation and they ended up paying my full amount, my $8,500 to me, plus the $350 that I paid for the appraisal services. So I was compensated close to $9,000. This is just kind of a tip. If you're in a car accident and now your car is worth less, you can submit a claim. But I would encourage you to use one of these diminished value appraisal services because they're, they're, they're very good at what they do. They can come up with a proposal that supports the number. So it wasn't like they just pulled $8,500 out of thin air. They, he had substantial proof and that's why the insurance company was able to pay me that that am amount of money back because we had like a substantial report that proved that my vehicle had lost $8,500 of value because of this accident. That's on top of the repair. So the the insurance company then also paid for the repair of the vehicle, a rental car, a, a rental vehicle, and things like that. So this is on top of all of that amount. Um, so I would encourage you guys to, to use this kind of service. I'll leave a link to the, the, the website I use. It's dvcheck.com. There's several others uh, available, but I would recommend using that. So if you're in a car wreck, don't let the insurance companies lowball your diminished value claim because there's probably more money on the table than what they're offering. But guys, I wanted to pass that tip along because I know car wrecks, they're frustrating. It's hard to kind of navigate it on your own. The insurance companies, they obviously want to pay you as little as possible. But guys, 
Hopefully this is helpful. Be sure to use this tip, diminished value. Go to dvcheck.com, check them out because, um, or some or a site like them because it's going to be helpful when you're in an accident and getting compensated for your vehicle being crashed. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave any comments down below if you have any other tips like this, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.